And we're live. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to our second edition of whatever, what, what is this called? Live, live and draw? No. I don't even know what it's called. Chat and draw, live, live and chat, live, draw and chat. Anyway, hey, everybody, Jeff here. And uh, I'm just getting situated here. We are going to uh, finish on well, not fin uh, hopefully finish, but we are going to continue drawing this guy here that you see on the screen. Um, let me just make sure that the uh, chat window comes up. So one second here. This is still a, uh, a work in progress. There we go. What's up, TP? How's it going? All right. So uh, it's been about 10 days since my last video way too long. Um, definitely didn't want it to be that long. What's up, AC Cinema? How's it going? Um, yeah, I've been meaning to draw for, or at least do this video for um, quite a while now, but something always seemed to come up. I would have the amount of time to draw during the day, and then, like, my kids would just start running up and down the hallway, and it would drive me crazy. Um, and if I don't have like the right state of mind, I can't draw. So um, yeah, what's up Blake? No, no pipe right now. I'll probably do pipe later on. Definitely a pipe after I finish drawing this. It'll be a victory, victory smoking pipe. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's sort of been the, the thing of what's going on in my life right now is wanting to draw and not able to because of distractions, whether it be work or whether it be, um, family, whether it be timing, whether it be my mental attitude, you know, so let me, um, let me just load up a couple things here so I could see what's going on and then we will start drawing this. There we go. All right, so I think in uh, this episode, um, well, the last episode I was drawing this dude and, um, I started to slowly get in the, in the shading and whatnot, but I think what I want to do is see if I can lay out like his shirt, get that down, and then we'll start like hammering in on the face and uh, seeing what we can do as far as locking this drawing in. And hopefully, if I don't finish it on this this episode, I want to finish it the next one for sure. And then who knows? We'll see if uh, if it turns out good. Maybe I'll throw it up on eBay, and one of you guys, if you guys want it, you guys can bid on it and uh, have this very piece hanging in your own your own man caves. So uh, let me uh, get my other camera ready so I can start filming. All right, we're filming. H H Old Dark Fire. That is a good one. That is a definite good blend. I haven't had that one in a while, but I think I have some uh, up over in my little tobacco cellar over there. So, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be interesting to try and draw because uh, I mentioned in the last one, but it's uh, it's very uh, it's kind of nerve wracking uh, for me to draw when I'm uh, being watched. <laughs> It's it's kind of like going it's kind of like going poop with the door open, you know what I mean? It's sort of like the same way. Sort of sort of the same thing but not really. So imagine dropping a deuce with somebody watching is kind of the feeling I get drawing with people watching. Now the thing that uh sucks about this picture is see all those stripes in his shirt? That is not ideal. That a lot of people probably wouldn't even bother drawing all these stripes because it's going to be very time consuming and I'm not even sure, to be honest, how I'm going to do it. So, we shall see. We shall see. I'm just just picking a few shapes here and whatnot. 
Lane Burley without a bite. Yeah, I like a lot of Lane uh, blends. I don't know if I've had just straight Lane Burley, but uh, I do like a lot of Lane blends, of course, like most people. I'm just using my pencil and kind of um, gauging where his neck starts. So looks like if I draw a pencil line straight down from the corner of his eye, it looks like that's kind of where his neck starts. So I just kind of eyeball down and go, okay, well, that's probably where his neck starts. And it looks like his neck kind of curves down. I kind of look at the angle how it's curving. I'll see about like that. A lot of a lot of my drawing, a lot of it's guesswork. Um <clears throat> but that's sort of my style is I want people to uh you know when it comes time for people <clears throat> one of you guys, if you guys support me and, and end up uh, buying some of my drawings. I want you to know when you have it that uh, this was all done by eyeball. <laughs> it's not meant to be a photograph or look photorealistic, but I want it to be something that's like, wow, that was done just by using my eyeballs and my brain. So this is all just. I'm just throwing lines down, a little guesswork. Um, Joe wants to know if there's anybody know anything about Medico brand pipes. I don't. I don't own any Medico pipes. But uh, maybe if somebody in the chat does, you guys can chime in. All right. Let's see here. And the other thing I realized I was I was watching back the uh, first video is um, what you guys see. Let me check the camera here. I guess this is that's probably good. What you guys see, it's probably a little skewed. Uh, it might look a little different if you look at it head on. Uh, the, you know, it, it changes perspective however, you know, whenever, however you look at it. So um, I noticed that, uh, let's see, is that focused? Focus, focus. I noticed that uh, depending on how it looks, there it goes, depending on how it looks, it might be uh, a little off from what the picture looks like, but that could also be your perspective. Okay, there we go. B yeah, budget pipe TP, very well said. So yeah, if, uh, if you guys are new to this draw and chat, if you weren't here on my last one, we sit here and chat and draw, go figure. So uh, this is gonna be a good series for people, for all the people that watch me for my artwork, or all the people that just want to hang out and listen to some music and be a part of the stream. That's uh, kind of what this is all about. Just have a good time, relax. It's Monday, and uh, hopefully you guys had a good Monday. It's uh, 4.07 right now, and California time, and I'm just glad most of my work day is over with because it's been pretty stressful for me. I'm uh, doing a having to redesign my website for my business, and it's uh, a lot to a lot to handle for me. On top of everything else I'm doing, like I said. Trying to trying to find time to draw on top of this, and then something comes up, and it's just like, man, can I get a break, please, please, can I get a break? So yeah, right now what you're seeing me doing is just a lot of these 
I'm just trying to lay down sort of like the shape of his shirt, you know, the collar. And we'll worry about the stripes and stuff uh, later on. What's up, Blake? Good luck with that bio, bio work. Sounds way smarter than anything I've been doing. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, and needless to say, since this is a live sort of format, if anyone has questions related to what I'm drawing, how I'm drawing, anything, doesn't even have to be related to drawing, feel free to ask away. I'm just trying to stay in the zone here, <laughs> listening to some music. All right. These stripes are going to be a big pain in the ass, I can already tell. But when it comes time to, when it when it comes to drawings like this, when you get down to this stuff, the uh, shirt and stuff, I don't put I don't try and pay too much attention to it. No one's really I don't want the focus to be down here on the uh, shirt. I want the focus to be on the face. And that's where we're really going to nail in the uh, details. So at this stage, a lot of my drawing, my pencil strokes are just going to be light, something we can erase. Yeah, Joe, I wish you could send pictures over it, too. Uh, I don't think YouTube lets you do that because you can only imagine some of my subscribers and what they might choose to send uh, in the chat room. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm not sure how much more I can put down here. I guess I can do a little bit more detail. Someone asked me last time how long I've been drawing, and really not that long. It's only been a couple of years, and I basically everything I've, you see me doing here is stuff I've just picked up from watching YouTube <laughs> of all of all things, watching some people draw on YouTube and getting some pointers. But I like this format because um, I like being able to show how I'm doing it. So um, so people could see like, you know, how the drawing took shape, how it started, all that stuff. I mean, I like time-lapse videos. I like watching, you know, a three-minute version of, like, how something came to, to be. But there's something you, you, you can't really um, duplicate this kind of thing unless you sit down and do it and show how it's done. So this is the point of just showing, like, how I'm drawing it, how this comes to life. And, again, if one of you guys buy this drawing, if I end up selling it or putting it on eBay and whoever bids on it for whatever they want it for can get it, um, you can always reference these these videos and see how the picture uh, you know took place so the very drawing that you'll have is you can actually watch it come to be uh tp what music am i playing it's a big playlist i got on spotify i don't know if it's public or not but uh it's just a r random collection of a ton of um bands and music that i've either really really like or sometimes i'll hear a new band i'll hear one song and i'll go okay let me just throw their whole album into the playlist and see you know see how i like it so it this playlist is going to be like a living breathing 
entity. It's going to completely be changing. It's going to evolve. I'm going to add songs to it and take songs away as my tastes change or stuff like that. But uh, I probably have, let me, let me see if I can pull it up here. Uh, it doesn't tell me, but I, I have probably 13 hours of songs in this playlist. So you're going to hear a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of music. And if you hear anything that just is absolutely stupid, like, oh my God, that can't stand when that song comes on, tell me and I'll probably remove it. All right. So I think, uh, let me just take a second to look at this dude's shirt and stuff. I think I might have got the main, the main part of it down. <laughs> okay. This is underneath his neck. So I'm just kind of I'm just kind of like uh, outlining certain things that I'm going to shade in later. And if this if I can if this turns out like some of my other drawings, it should look really cool. I think it's starting to look like the guy. What do you think? At first I wasn't thinking so much, but the more I like been looking at it, it's like, okay. You can definitely if you look back and forth, you can see it, I think it looks like him. What's up, Jack Daniels? Yeah, um, I got a lot of people wanting me to, to draw them. And at this stage, I'm just kind of drawing. Um, I'm not really drawing commission pieces, you know, but if I see something that I like, I draw it. Um, but if you, anyone wants to send me something, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it. All right, so. I think I might, I got his shirt down, which was actually faster than I kind of thought it was going to be. Now I might start putting down some uh, random stripes. And a lot of what I'm doing here, it's going to be um, probably smeared away by my hand going over the drawing. Let's see, uh, check out the chat. Andy wants to know how the aquaponics system's going. All right. Yeah, uh, it's going good right now, though. It's kind of um, it's kind of dormant because the weather is so cold, so nothing's really growing. Um, I do have some plants in there, and what I'll try and do is give you guys another update on the aquaponics um, on one of my next videos when I'm outside. Oh God, these stripes are gonna kill me. I am not looking forward to this. So I'm just gonna kinda lightly do some do some striping here. Thing is, that the stripes can kind of give the uh, the stripes can give the impression that the the clothing has texture and that it has folds and stuff just by how the stripes are going. So that's why it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. But we'll see what happens here. I'm just going to pick a few uh, few stripes to to lay down, and then we'll just move on to the face. Oh, God. I knew I shouldn't have picked the guy with the striped shirt on. I think I'm just going to end up uh, kind of 
kind of shading it in a, in a way where a lot of these stripes are just going to get blended in the background, so it's not going to be that big a deal. Uh, do I order tobacco or buy it local? I mostly order it. There is a local place um, somewhat near me. Uh, by somewhat, I mean probably uh, 25 minutes away, maybe 30 minutes. It's a, little, it's a tobacconist called uh, the Mission Pipe Shop, and I've actually put them on some of my YouTube videos back in the day. I've done a few... Um, like uh, shop tours there and kind of showed it off a little bit. But uh, it's been a while since I've been there. Usually I just go to like uh, tobaccopipes.com is one of my favorite places. And uh, just hop in there and every so often place an order with them. I've never tried vaping. Um, sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, Stepan. Um, but uh, no, I've never tried it. If you can believe that, I've never had an interest in vaping. It just never. I don't know. It just never. Uh, I'm nothing against it. I've just nothing's ever. Uh, just hasn't really appealed to me. If I want to smoke, I just pack a pipe or get a cigar and. I do that, you know. Um, so it's not something that I've ever been interested in doing. My brother vapes, so whenever he comes up, some of you know who he is. Um, he has his vape and his other his other uh, smoking preferences. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I don't. I never. I never vape. Would I? I'm sure one of these times I I would try it. But I don't really. I don't inhale anything that much. I'm not a big inhaler. You know, like I try and preserve my lungs as best as possible. No Marco. No pipe during the drawing. I one hand I got a pencil. The other hand I got an eraser. I gotta hold up this thing. I'm. Constantly checking cameras, making sure everything's good. If you added a pipe, and I got this microphone in my mouth. So if I had a pipe and then I had to worry about that, it would be uh, out of control. So, uh, yeah, no pipe. <laughs> but there will be more pipe videos. Those I usually save when I'm outside and when the weather's not too bad. The other thing that sucks about that is I got neighbors and like most people, um, but um, sometimes uh, I'm outside and I want to have do like a pipe video and and then the neighbors go outside with their their whole clan of children and they start screaming and it's like oh man. I can't uh, can't make a video in peace. All right. Did I mention how much of a pain in the ass these stripes are? I think I did. Pretty sure I did. So I'm not dropping all the stripes. It looks like uh Looks like that shirt has basically two main stripes that are kind of separated by a, some space. So I'm going to kind of just worry about those two. Okay. I also have to lose, I gotta like, sometimes I look up and I lose track of what the hell I'm looking at. 
All I'm seeing is stripes, and my, my brain is starting to fry. I like all your videos with your cousin, too. Oh, you must be talking about Sarge, I'm assuming. My cousin Sarge moved away. He left California. He moved to Arizona. I haven't seen my cousin now for many months. So, yeah, I don't, I don't got my cousin here to hang out anymore. It's just me all by my lonesome, me and this guy right here, and you guys. Um, I've never tried any other um, art format, Andy, um, because, like I said, I've only been drawing for a couple years, and all I had is pencil and paper, so that's kind of all I've been um, teaching myself to do is pencil and paper art. Um, never tried, uh, I never tried oil J-bones, but see, I... There's something really cool about, well, for me, there's something really cool about pencil artwork because it's so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it's low maintenance. You just need a pencil, paper, and that's it. I don't got to, you know, I'm drawing, a, I'm drawing this on a, it's not even an easel. It's a UPS box <laughs> that I'm using like an easel, leaning it up against my desk. So technically, I can move this setup anywhere I want to move it to. Um, so I like that aspect. Um, pencil isn't as messy as paints, so I like that aspect of it too. I have tried, um, you know those like, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys where, wherever you're watching at, if you have them too, you guys have those uh, those paint nights that usually they have in like your town, where like some somebody does the uh, the painting, and they you're sitting in a big class full of people. Not even a class. It's like you've got drinks, and sometimes it's at a restaurant or at a big bar or a open room, and they provide the paint and they provide the canvas, and then they kind of do like okay do this, do that, and you make your own painting based on what they're doing. I've done that before, but that was the only painting I've ever tried, and it really didn't turn out that good. Kind of made me realize I should be thankful for being able to draw with a pencil because my painting sucked. All right. So this is all going to start to blend, and I guess it's starting to look a little like a shirt. Like I said, I'll probably end up just shading a lot of it, so these all these stripes I'm drawing will just kind of be in the background. It'll just give your brain, um, your brain will just, dr will just know it's a shirt. That's one cool thing. A lot of my drawings, I end up doing that without consciously thinking. I'll do certain things, and you'll see as we go along. I'll just do certain things that by itself doesn't look very like, what are you doing, dude? But you'll, you'll forget about it, and then later you'll look at the drawing, and your brain just fills things in. It'll just, you'll just start seeing things that aren't really there. So that's why I'm not going to focus too much on these uh, stripes, because it's not going to be very important. Not if I can uh, pull off what I'm going to try and pull off here with making this drawing look decent. <laughs> oh, Chris Cornell. Every time he, every time his music comes on, it's like, ah, oh man, such a great singer. So, uh, where's everyone watching from? You guys at home? You at work? Sound off in the chat.
Mm. All right. So it looks like we're almost done with the shirt as far as my layout. What I'm going to do is finish this layout, and then we'll jump back to the head, and we'll really start, like, we'll really start laying it, laying it into the head here as far as details, and I think we'll bring it, we'll bring it, this drawing some life. Just sharpening my pencil. What's up? You and Patrick. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, TP, so that's cool. Times Square. Um one of my earliest uh memories um was uh being at a sort of like a fair. I was actually up in Canada and um I was watching one of those like caricature draw you know, artists who was just drawing people. I think I pissed her off because I was probably 10 years old and I just stood there over her shoulder and watched her draw people all day long. And I'm sure she was like, kid, get the hell out of here. Actually, a funny story, that same girl, I found her on, uh, I think it was on MySpace back in the day. And uh, because I never forgot her. I, I just remember hanging out and watching her draw and being so fascinated. How could somebody draw like that? It was just so cool. And so I found her on MySpace, and I was like, hey, um, you know, I don't know if you remember me. I was like this, you know, 10-year-old kid that watched you, like, back in the day. And, you know, here I was now, however old I was when I found her on MySpace, probably 30 or something. And I'm like, I don't know if you remember me, but I was that kid that and she goes, oh, yeah, I remember you. And I was like, oh, geez, was it that bad? I'm sorry. And she's, she kind of apologized and said, you know, no, it's not a big deal. But she, I got the impression that at the time she was thinking, like, kid, stop asking me all these questions and let me do my job. So now I kind of know what she feels like. I'm kind of, this is kind of like self-fulfilling karma, me doing this live where people are watching me because it really puts a lot of pressure on you. All right. Dallas, Texas, and Miami. Photography. Hey, photography, that's uh, a lot of people might think, oh, photography, there's no, you know, all you do is point and, point and click. But you got to have some skill to be a good photographer. So you got my respect. Although I think photography uh, is definitely more expensive than what I'm doing because... Last I checked, a camera costs a little more than a pencil. Some of my dearest friends are photographers. They do a lot of weddings and stuff like that. It pays pretty good. Okay, I think I'm just about done with the lay-in here of this shirt. So you can see I'm not really being precise with the uh, my artistic choices, shall we say. I'm just kind of just drawing in lines where the stripes are, and well, like I said, we'll. Uh, We'll really hammer this stuff in when we come back down to the shirt. I think I'm just about done with it, though. But see, sometimes just by the direction of the lines, I don't know if you can kind of pick that out, 
but uh, you can kind of like your brain starts like seeing a shirt. It start all I've been doing is the lines, but just based on how you know like this line here is going this way, but this line here is kind of going straight. Your brain will start seeing fabric. It'll start seeing uh, you know texture to the shirt. So I think I might stop here with the shirt. I keep saying that, and then I keep doing more lines, but I really want to start getting to the, the um, back to the face. That's the fun part, especially when we start shading. What's up, John? Um, do I do magic? Um, I know some magic tricks, so if I had a deck of cards and you were here with me, I could do a couple tricks for you, but am I a magician? No, I am not a magician. Um, I just, uh, I'm just, I'm a magic dealer, so I sell magic to people that want to buy it. All right, so I think now we're going to start putting in some more detail here. I'm going to finish this ear a little bit since I kind of didn't do anything with it. Ears are a little hard for me. All right. Not going to do too much on this ear yet. I just want to fill in some of the some of the details. And then this ear over here, it's it's be totally behind his head, so that's going to be kind of shaded out. Um what pencil is this? Okay. All right. So now this is the s this is the step where I'm really going to start working on the face. And feeling the music. For me, music is huge, huge inspiration because I don't know. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's like uh, being, you know, whether you're an artist or a musician. I mean, it's all art, right? You're just expressing yourself through different creative means, creative avenues. So, uh, you know, when I'm doing art, I like listening to music that really moves me because it's like, all right, now I'm feeling it. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I think we want to start putting on, I think I want to start just um, doing some of the shading and then we'll smooth it out. So I know up in here, this is all a certain tone. So this part's going to be messy, but we'll fix all that later on. I'm just getting what's called value on to the picture. Value meaning a color value or, or a shading value. All right, so let's see. I also got to realize where the light is hitting him. You can see the light's hitting him on his forehead. So there's going to be a 
a light spot here. So you know what, I'm just going to start, if the light's here, if the light's hitting him up here, then if you think of his head like an egg, right, it should be darker the further away from the light. So I'm going to kind of keep that in mind as I start just shading a little bit. Eyes are always going to be darker because they sink into your head. I don't like that. This is where if I was a really, really, really good artist, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing, which is uh, very rough. Um, no real rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of looking up and looking down, looking up and looking down. I'm not like, you know, if I was trying to be photorealistic, everything you see me doing right now would be taking me weeks, not minutes. Photorealism, when you see those drawings, um, some of those artists, you can find them all over the internet, um, but you'll see artists that are very meticulous and their drawings look like an actual photograph. Um, when they do that kind of stuff, they, it's, it takes them, some of them can take weeks of just working on it nonstop. And I don't want that. That's not the kind of thing I'm going for. I'm going for um, like a resemblance. I want the picture to resemble who I'm looking at. I want it to look good, but I don't want you know I don't want people to buy my stuff and go, or you know look at my stuff and say, uh, God, I can't even tell that's a drawing. That's not what I'm going for. I want it to look like a drawing, but I want it to be, you know, still good, you know. So it's a little balance, balancing act I'm trying to do here. So we're gonna add, we're just adding shading that I'm gonna all, I'm gonna end up rubbing it all in. See this side of his nose is all. All shaded. And the nose looks a little, the side of his nose right here where I'm, sh where I'm at looks a little bit darker than under his eye. So I got to keep that in mind, you know, don't go the same shade. So what I'm going to do is add the shading down and then what we're going to do is rub it all in and then we'll start uh, adding a lot of the details as far as lines on the face. Um, highlights. Hey, what's up, cuz? Nightwing2303, for those of you who, if you're into sneakers or just want to see a way more talented person, you, a way more talented personality uh, and channel on uh, YouTube. Check out uh, Nightwing 2303's channel or go to weartesters.com. Um, if you're, like I said, if you're into sneakers or, or finding out the latest of footwear of uh, if, of all of all kinds, he is the one you want to subscribe to. And one of these days, I hope to be as popular as my cousin, because he will post a video, and I'm not kidding, in like one hour, he'll have 100,000 views on it. And it sounds hard to believe, but it is the honest to God truth. But he's worked his ass off to, to get there, so 
props to him. All right. All right, this dude's got a little mole on his eye, so I'll just kind of put that in there somewhere. Don't want to make it too dark, but it's all going to get rubbed in here in a second. So the key of this stage is like I'm not trying to like uh, draw. I don't want to make it too dark, you know. I'm just kind of looking up, looking down, looking up, looking down. And it's also important to remember if you're an artist or you know you do this kind of drawing. Um, don't beat yourself up over it because no matter what you do, you, you can fix the problem. That's why I'm not really worried about how messy this is looking because I know that it'll it'll all even out. All right. I gotta be careful I don't lose uh some of the lines, like his uh, forehead lines, but we'll fix all that. We will fix all that. All right, his ear. He's this ear is going to be darker, so. That's the other thing is knowing, like, the anatomy. So, like, you know the ears are further back, right? And they're away from the light, so I'm going to make the ears darker than the side of his, than his head. Just because I know they're going to be in some form of shadow. Who the hell are we listening to? I don't know if I like this song. They have better songs than this. Well, we'll see if this song's any better. All right. How's it looking? How's it looking? Oh, you know what? I totally missed down by the neck, too. So let me shade in the neck. Usually what I like to do is get, like, all the face and the skin and stuff. And then I'll worry. The shirt will be, like, one of the last things I worry about. So this part of his neck, this is like going to be darker. Oop. All right. And there's also a possibility this guy that I'm drawing is going to watch this video. So hopefully he's uh, looks like he's a cool dude, right? Hopefully he doesn't get all pissed off at me. So uh, if you're watching this, hopefully you like it. There's an app that I um, post on. It's like Instagram for artists. It's called Sketchy. And uh, it, it's exactly like Instagram, just for artists. So instead of posting your own selfies, you post what you draw. And this is one of the guys that's on um, the Sketchy app. And I saw his picture, and I just thought, you know what? That looks like a fun picture to try and draw. All right, so. His chin's too white. Okay, we're almost there.
<laughs> okay. A lot of it for me is uh, this is where it gets a little bit difficult <laughs> because uh, like if you look at the picture, like like this part of his face, it's dark right by his chin, but like his lips are kind of like red. So it's like, how do you differ? You know, how do you make the person you, the viewer? Like, how do you translate that? So, you know, you can't draw it all the same shade, but you don't have any colors. So it's like, that's the other challenge that I like about drawing is you only got one color. You can make it light or dark, but there's no other way to convey color. So it's trying to work with that limitation. Okay. So I think, let me, uh, okay, let me just start rubbing some stuff in here. This is going to blend it. It's one of my favorite parts because it starts making the skin look like skin, takes away a lot of the lines that I was drawing. I don't know if you can see that. All right. All right, let me see here. So, see, it's starting to look like you could see it's darker. It's almost like a grayish look. So now we're going to start adding in a lot of the detail. All right, where's my pencils? Mm. Okay, so I think I'll start working on the eyes. Let me, uh, and because this area is going to be bright, like really bright up here, I'm actually going to shade it first. And then when I start deleting, deleting, <laughs> when I start uh, erasing, not deleting, it'll, it'll shine, uh, or it'll illustrate that even more. So, You'll see what I mean after we get it going. So just doing layers. Oh, who's texting me? One sec, guys. All right. Okay. So now this is where I'm going to go back over some of these dark spots. So like look at look at the eye the, the one eye that he has it's this eye here on the picture you could see his eyelids really dark. So this is when I start going back over and adding going over the dark stuff and that's really going to start making this this drawing come to life. Come to life, my son. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's so stupid. You're not my son. Okay. Let me, uh, oh.
Hold on, I got I lost my my reference picture. Oh, for crying out loud. There he is. Okay. All right. This is actually the most challenging part for me because you're getting into like the real small details, like the little eye duct and stuff like that. Um, it's very hard for me. Made much more complicated by the fact that I know I'm filming myself live. So if I want to, if I mess up or I do something stupid, I know it's going to be out there for everybody to see, but that's all right. That's what these videos are for. They're just to show how the process takes shape. Okay. I messed up. All right, this is uh this is a challenge. All right. Usually if I can nail the eyes or at least get something, kind of makes up for a lot of the other inaccuracies of a drawing. Well, they say the eyes are the window to the soul, so if you can nail it, then that's a good thing. So I'm just going to slowly start adding in some value. This is sort of the tedious part too, is uh, like my brain is telling me to kind of rush it a little bit. But there's really no need to rush. I mean, we're just hanging out after all, right? So there's no need to get crazy. I wish I could pull out these highlights. I don't have a tiny eraser like I want to get the little white spots of his eyes, so it's a challenge for me to try and do that without a tiny eraser. <laughs> okay.
All right. Okay. Eyes are very tough for me because there's so much like little detail as far as like the little eyelashes and stuff. And Plus, you got to be careful. You don't want to make too many lines on the person's face, make them look older than they really are. Okay, so I'm trying to like focus a little on the uh, lines on the eyes. Like I said, if I draw too many, it's going to make him look uh, more tired than he probably is or more older than he is. I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to be uh, real subtle. with his little eye lines. Okay. So like underneath this part of his eye, right in here, it's a little bit darker. See, a lot of it's just like seeing these little, like you got to be able to see details that you're not used to seeing, like knowing it's a little darker under here than, say, over on this side of his eyes. Okay. Okay. I think it's coming along. It's kind of it's kind of a challenge to get like the It's like he's got blonde eyebrows. Never drawn anyone with blonde eyebrows before, so it's like it's it's almost hard. It's like drawing gray hair, you know, like you're drawing the a negative. You're drawing if I had a white pencil it'd be easier, but I don't. So it's like how do you draw white eyebrows white or, or, or blonde eyebrows if you don't have a white pencil? So it's all about getting creative with your shadows. Nope, not talking to you. That was my phone ringing in case you didn't hear it. I'm not just randomly talking to myself. Well, I kind of am randomly talking to myself, but I don't randomly yell at myself. Okay, I do like these little lines in his forehead, the expression he's making.
Okay. Not sure if I can pull out these highlights on his eyes. All I have is this tiny little, uh, it's called a kneaded eraser because you can mold it like Play-Doh. So I gotta try and make a little tiny point, pull out some of the, some of the spots on his eyes. All right, I think I might leave this eye alone for the time being. Move on to um, some other spots of his head. This eye, you can kind of see, let me pull up my uh, camera here. Yeah, I mean, you could see how much lighter this eye looks right now because it hasn't had, we haven't passed over it yet, but see as we start to lay in the detail, um, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to make it look a lot better. All right. Oh, this is a great song. Oh, this is a great, great song. So like with the eyebrows, I'm gonna have to try, cause they're like I was saying, they're blonde. I'm just gonna have to get creative and let your brain think you're looking at eyebrows when you're really just looking at lines of a pencil. So this eyeball like comes right down to like his eyelids, so it's gonna be a challenge. Okay. How much time do I got? Okay, I still got some time. I try and keep uh, an eye on my camera that I'm filming for YouTube or my uh, time-lapse camera because I only got so much space on there before the stupid card runs out. Yeah, I got a bunch of haters out there. It's okay, Matthew. It don't bother me. But I appreciate the uh, 
standing up. <laughs> All right. This side is a lot, m a lot more difficult for me because uh, it's kind of a weird shape. It's squinted. It's in the shadow. I got to make sure I, I don't. Uh, I got to, I got to make sure I'm mindful of all the little subtleties of it. Sometimes it's just like drawing what you what you're seeing, like this part of the eye that I'm on right now, this like inner corner. It's kind of dark, and it's I'm just looking at shapes, just trying to. It looks darker, so I'm just putting darkness there. I, I'm not really focusing on the eye. I'm just focusing on shadows and whatnot. Thanks, Alec. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Again, this is part two. So part one of me drawing this was actually posted about 10 days ago on my channel. Hey, O'Connell. Connell Pipes in the house, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Really means a lot to me. Seriously, anybody that comes by and says hi is I mean I'm just I'm just here chilling just here chilling and drawing so it's like anyone that stops by it's just like coming by it's almost like you were here with me you know so I really appreciate that I I wish I could make pipes and because I can't I figure this is the next best thing and create something artistic And just like people will go, oh, hey, you know, I I want this kind of pipe or I want to own that kind of pipe because so-and-so made it. You know, my ultimate goal is people will be like that with my drawings. Or I want to have a one of Jeff's drawings, you know, or I want to I want to hang one of that up in my man cave, blah, blah, blah. Like, I think that would, to me, that'd be ultimate because knowing that I'm sitting here drawing something on camera and then, like, seeing it out there in someone's house or someone's garage or wherever, I think that would be the ultimate compliment. When you land on your feet. This is a great song too. Um, I, I have done live pipe smoking videos for sure. It's just been a while. I think, I think it's actually been a year since I've done an actual live pipe smoking video, but that's something I, w I do want to get back into. Um, it definitely won't be as long as these art videos because these I like, the only reason why these art videos are so long is I like showing my entire process. I mean, somebody's eventually going to buy this thing that I'm drawing, and I want them, if they want, to be able to look back and see how it was done. I want other artists who are learning to be able to look and see how this was drawn. So, uh, but yeah, I digress. Pipe videos. Um, yeah, I will be doing more. Uh, live pipe videos. But what I like about this, um, this format, what I'm doing here is with the drawing, with me in like the little uh, corner and having the chat box on, so people that watch this back, they go back and they watch this video, they can see what I'm looking at. They can see the chat room. Um, they don't just see me staring off into the screen somewhere and then answering a question. Like, they can see the questions coming in. Or the toxic shitters who post 
dumb comments. Yeah, that would be cool to sit and hang out with uh, pipes and chill. I mean, even, you, you know, people can even do that with this drawing video, too. Like, you know, sit, have a pipe, listen to some music with me while I'm doing my thing here. You know, just because I'm not smoking a pipe, I don't want people to feel like uh, they can't, you know. Hey, peace out there, Will. All right, so this eye right here is really dark. All right, well, his eyes are coming there. It's slowly getting there. I think I got his, I think I might have captured that, that furrowed brow. Not bad for completely freehanding it. And I'll keep jumping back and forth. Well, I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, it's been kind of cold. Well, it, the rain was raining here the other day. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I totally sympathize with the rain. It's, now we're just down to the cold. Um, But uh yeah, if it's if it's too rainy or too cold here, I don't I can't smoke anything. It's just not enjoyable and I got to be able to uh, enjoy it if I'm going to do it. You know, a lot of people would be like, "Oh, you know, you're smoking a pipe. That's, you know, that's just like smoking cigarettes and it's addicting and all stuff." It's like, "You know what, dude? Shut up. You don't even know what you're talking about. I can go months without smoking a pipe if I have to." I haven't even, right now, I haven't smoked a pipe for three weeks or something. So, yeah, it's people who think, uh, you know, that it's addicting and once you, you know, it's it's not. It's at least not for me. I smoke a pipe because I want to smoke a pipe because the opportunity calls for that. And uh, if the opportunity isn't there because of the weather or whatever other reason, then I just don't do it. That's not a big deal, you know. So I'm going to kind of erase some of this where the highlight is. Um, Matthew, my brother, he's, he's good. I don't get to see my brother that as much anymore. My brother actually lives about three hours away from me. Um, he, uh, I talked, I texted him the other day though, so he's, he's doing, he's doing all right. I just don't get to see him anymore. I saw him at Christmas time and that was the last time I saw him.
Okay. This eyes probably needs to be a little darker. All right, so maybe I'll leave this eye alone for right now. I'll start jumping to other spots. Of course, this ear is going to be darker than the head. It's in the shadow. Yeah, people who think uh, pipes and cigarettes are the same, you know, it's like the only the only similarity is smoke comes out of one end. And so, you know, I've actually given up arguing with people about it because people are going to believe whatever they want to believe. I'm not. I don't smoke a pipe to convert anybody. I don't smoke a pipe to change people's minds. Doesn't matter if I tell them how, you know, a lot of doctors don't even consider pipes to be smoking because it's a completely different uh, apparatus, you know. But whatever. Okay. This is when I have to start really concentrating on the details. So I'm extra quiet. But I do keep looking up to see if anyone chimes in on the chat, so. Yeah, this is uh, it's very challenging because um, I realize this kind of video is not for everybody. <laughs> you know, some of the videos on my channel get tens of thousands of views, and I, these ones might only get a couple hundred. But, you know, this is like, uh, this is my therapy here. This is like... I need to do this kind of stuff. So it's one of those things where I'm going on an adventure. You're welcome to come along with me. I'm here if you do want to join in this adventure of mine. But if you don't, I'm okay with that. All right, O'Connell Pipes, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. I do look forward to the next next one. So uh, hopefully you hit that uh, notification button on my channel so when I do go live, you'll get something that tells you.
So I'm using the eraser to kind of bring out these little spots in his chin, little highlights, you know. How's he looking? He's he's getting there. All right, he is getting there. I'm going to have to work a little more on his face as far as the shadows. I want the light to I want it to really look like uh the light here is hitting him. So in order to do that, I might have to start darkening a little bit so the, the light will look a little way more brighter. And I don't want to go too dark, you know, I don't want to make it. You go too dark in one spot, then you got to go way dark in another spot. And next thing you know, your whole picture takes on a different feel to it. Okay. You can see I'm jumping all over the place from the eye to the forehead. It's just kind of whatever my eyes are seeing, you know? And at this stage, it's like uh, the hard part's kind of already done. As far as like, you know, I can't change, I can't change too much now. Like if I go, oh, I don't like where his eye is. Well, you're kind of screwed because <laughs> you've already gotten this far. So now you're just trying to make it look as best as you can with the tools that you got. Ah, this microphone makes my nose itch. Not sure if I uh, nailed his eyebrow good enough, but I'm going to leave it right now. And I'll kind of squint at the picture. You'll see me kind of going back and squinting. I'm just trying to see like when you squint your eyes you can kind of see where things need to be darker and lighter. Okay. Now I'm doing like just little details, little eye wrinkles and whatnot. All right. Now 
Okay, so down by the mouth, we're gonna have to start paying a little more attention to these, these little details. These dark spots. And his chin has like, God, his chin has these cool little details on him that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to capture, but we'll see. Sometimes you can do a lot with just shading and erasing to give the impression that it's got these like, these uh, texture marks. Mama, my girl. Kind of lucked out in the fact that, not me lucked out, but um, I'm not the best at drawing mouths. So he kind of made it easy by just having basically no lips for me to worry about. All right. I think I'm starting to like the way it's coming out. So this eye is darker, so I'm just, I'm actually going to shade it in a little bit, even though it's like the white of the eyes. Because all the, the, this eye over here has like the main focus, right? So if I make sure that has the most detail, I think we'll be, I think we'll be good. This is the side of his head over here, so that's actually going to be darker because that's really away from the light. And then this is like the back side of his face where his cheek is. All right. So he's got like this little tiny highlight right on under that nostril. I'm going to see if I can just pull out a little bit. And right in here. I'll just leave it like that. Doesn't look like much, but again, your brain's going to fill that in later. And you're not even going to realize that your, your brain's just going to tell you that's a, a shiny spot. Right now, it just looks like an eraser mark, but. Okay. 
So I think his little uh, soul patch here needs to come up a little higher. Just kind of bring it up a little bit. All right. He's he's coming together, guys. I'm getting more and more uh, comfortable with how he's looking. I wish I was a faster artist, so I apologize. It's taken so long, but that's the thing is a lot of my drawings will take about three hours or so to draw. And then you figure you got to add some more time when I'm doing these live because then I got to answer questions or, you know, take a little bit slower time because my mind isn't as focused. So uh, when, I'm, when my mind isn't as focused, I, I don't work as fast. So All right. So I usually try and hit the corners of the mouth a little harder. All right. All right, all right, all right. Mm-mm-mm. That's a good song. Okay, so I need to, I just noticed this ear needs to be really defined to the face. I mean the side of the face, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's there. Let me see, how's this looking here? I'll give you guys a... I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay. Let's see, how much time do I got? All right. I have less than 10 minutes, so I'm just going to kind of get this drawing into a spot here where I can feel confident on uh, what we're going to do the next time, because we will finish this on the next drawing. There's no way it's going to take me three sessions to finish this. I've accomplished pretty much everything I want to do in today's session, we got our shading down, finished the shirt, uh, the, laid out the shirt. Um, and again, this is a new format for me. This is only the second time I've ever done this. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit better at that.
And then the next time I pick this up, I'll have even more of a, um, like a game plan. I'll know what I'm doing with the drawing, what direction we're gonna head with it. All right. All right, I don't want to do too much on that eye. I think we're, I think I'm going to leave that eye alone for now. As I go right back to the eye. You're such a liar. I think I need to focus a little bit on the nose here. Don't want to lose its shape. Might be too bright, that little spot I just put on there, but it's one thing about drawing is you can kind of change it as you go. These little eraser marks I'm going to do are going to start making the drawing come to life a little bit too. <laughs> All right. So I think this is going to be good for right now on the face. This is dark. All right. Yeah, he's he's coming to life. I keep looking at the uh camera behind me and uh when we I think when we start adding some of these details with the shirt and and, and stuff like that, see these little shadows around his neck. Even even by me what I'm doing right here underneath. This is going to bring his face out a little bit more. You'll see. In fact, I'll just end on that note. Let me just kind of get this part done. See, because this is underneath his face, I know it has to be darker. The light doesn't hit down here as much. So therefore, 
I can feel a little more confident just shading it in a little darker. See, it's already given it a little shadowy look to it. Make his face kind of jump, you know, not jump out, but stand above. And uh, a lot of this stuff, we'll just do some subtle shading on. We'll probably do, do all this when we come back on the next session, which will probably be in a couple days. I'm anxious to finish this and move on to something else, to be honest. We're going to have to work on his hair a little bit. I'm not trying to draw like every individual piece of hair by any means. I'm just trying to do a few little flicks of hair here and there and then I'll just kind of shade it in. Oh, we're going to end this on Chris Cornell. All right, I'll work on that more when we come back. So we will call this a session. I don't even know how long we've been going. It looks like uh, 40, f that can't be right. We have to be going for at least a couple hours, right? Uh, I don't even know if it says on my stream. Oh, hour and 49 minutes. So, so yeah, let's, uh, let's end it right there. So this is where we're at. And uh, looks like it's kind of hard to give you guys a good angle of how it really looks. Maybe that's similar to it. So, uh, yeah, well, when we come back, we'll work on the, uh, well, we'll finish, we'll finish up the drawing. We'll just finish the shirt. Um, I'll probably just touch up the hair a little bit. We'll make the ear better because the ear is kind of blown out from the, uh, from my hand and stuff. And just the f some, we'll do some final touches probably, right? I mean, maybe just I'll add a little bit more darks and lights and stuff. But I think this will be done in the uh, the next the next um, session, which I'll do in a couple days. So um, yeah. With that being said, I uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, I know this isn't the most uh, popular of my videos, but this is something that I need to do creatively. Uh, I need to draw, and I'm going to be drawing anyway. So I figure I might as well just draw. Uh, and and film it for you guys. Turn off that camera. So, yeah, if I'm going to be here anyway, who cares? 
uh, I don't really care if I have uh, one person watching or three people watching. It doesn't bother me um, because I'm going to be doing this anyway. So this is one of these days. I just I have a vision that uh, that someday my artwork is going to be um, popular and people are going to want to watch these videos to see how these drawings took place. And then when people buy these drawings, um, they may want to watch these videos to watch how it was created. So with that being said, I appreciate uh, all you guys who uh, stopped by and watched this video, uh, especially if you watched right to the very end. You get extra special points with me. And uh, I look forward to next time. Uh, make sure you hit the little notification icon on my channel. Uh, that way you'll be notified when I go live. And, um, yeah, that's it. So um, we'll talk to you later, and um, see you next time.